Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last few episodes, I've been attempting to fulfill all needs in every category for every tier of resident. Everywhere. <laughs> and we've just completed the investors. From top to bottom, everything the investors consume has a fully satisfied production chain behind it with no shortfalls. That's 20 unique goods, with over 100 goods in their production chains with various combinations. Today, we're going to be looking at the High Life Investors, which for the most part are actually already done, thankfully, but their shopping arcades need fixing, and this will also feed into the tourists' restaurants, the bars, the cafes. Now, by completing these, we should see our numbers significantly grow now much quicker, but before we begin, I've got a mini time-lapse of reorganizing the trade routes to swords. A little bit of a strange one, but you'll understand once we get into it. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, super weird time-lapse. I'm actually time-lapsing trade routes, but that's where we're at in the game right now. So I've got about 10 trade routes to set up between the islands of Lusk and Swords. And basically, I judged the time between these by looking at the statistics, and it was roughly about 8 minutes from Dockland to Dockland with a full load of 300 on a ship. And I realized that a lot of these smaller components for things such as the restaurants, for the drugstores, these obscure items that the population aren't actually consuming, but rather one or two small buildings might be, only ever had a consumption rate of maybe one or two tons per minute. Some of them, in fact, actually have a consumption rate of zero tons per minute, it's less than even one. So, basically decided to free up a lot of my ships and put multiple goods onto these ships that all fell under this category. So what I did was I went through the entire list of every single restaurant, every drugstore, furniture store, and whatever else, all these obscure items, wrote them all down in a notepad, logged how much their tons were per minute, and grouped them together. So if they are one ton per minute, they're all on the same ship. If they're two, they're all on the same ship, that kind of thing. And pretty much because of the, the rule of being about 10 minutes between Docklands, it meant that Unless we were over five or six tons per minute, you didn't need to have multiple slots. So the first like six or seven trade routes here are, you can just see me just putting the same thing on over and over again. Now we're actually getting towards the end already. This is coal, coconut oil, whale oil, and lacquer. So some of those things actually did have reserved slots for two because it was just slightly on the edge of five tons per minute, for instance. The sugar, bear fur, and citrus required quite a lot more. The soap and jam required even more than that, which is coming up next. And then the wool and champagne was kind of the same as well. And then there's room for more. So doing this meant that we're able to free up quite a lot of ships because instead of one ship carrying one thing to swords, I can now have one ship carrying six things and the rates should be totally fine. Like totally fine, not even close to, um, you know, ever needing another ship. And if it ever did end up kind of climbing in its needs per minute. I have it all written down and I can just add a different ship or put it onto a different one. It also meant here at the end I was able to free up some of the trade routes by uh, taking the Island of Swords off the route altogether for things like soap and grapes and stuff like that because it was already delivered now uh, by this smaller individual ship. And that's basically it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. The new and improved trade route optimizations for the City of Swords and Benti is dropping in some happiness care packages for me, it looks like. Maybe on top of the investors over there. Hard to see where they're actually going in, but we can hear them being dropped. There we go, packages received. Anyways, I normally say the new and improved city after we do some sort of time lapse. This was quite a peculiar time lapse because it was an optimization. But one that I thought was important to kind of show you, not just do completely off screen, even though it is heavily menu based and not much visuals to really glean from it. But one thing that we can glean for it is the fact that I've did free up about nine or so ships that were previously being used to do the exact same job. So that's a nice visual indicator that we've done something right. I'm after getting something back out of this trade route optimization. And of course, it just seems like it looks a little better combining multiple goods onto the same ships. And where there was instances of a good that's now on one of these ships going around multiple islands, I've either reduced the amount of ships doing it or... Um, just taking the island away, because it doesn't need to do that anymore. So for instance, this one's doing soap and jam, going straight to swords. There used to be a soap delivery route that would go around all islands. Doesn't really need to do that anymore. In fact, two ships might be even too much for that, but problem for another day. Let's just keep things moving. So, what's next? So let's have a look. This was really to fix the amount of drugstores, the cafes, bars, restaurants. There's so many, right? There's three types of each one, so there's six in total. And then the different recipes and things that could be in these things. 
made it so that there's so many different goods that you need to kind of manage and where they're all coming from and where they're going and their various consumption rates. And some of these goods might be here already, just naturally maybe consumed by artisans or engineers. And some of them might be completely weird and unique like bear fur or something like that. But for the most part, we're pretty much solved. But we'll have a look at the things that haven't been delivered yet. So for instance, brass. So a lot of these trade routes that I just queued up, I just told everything to come from swords, or sorry, from Lusk. Our big production island here, this is the big central transport hub that takes everything in and then redistributes it back out to the world. So this is a one-stop shop for all the islands in this particular session. The island of Crown Farms would be the uh, similar one for Cape Trelawney. The island of Manola is the similar one for the New World. Uh, then we've got King William Island will be a sort of similar one for the Arctic and Tabarim for Imbasis. So I've always got my capital island or at least large island that's going to take in stuff and send it back out. And that tends to make trade routes a little easier to manage. I don't know if that's necessarily the optimal way to do things, but I like to do it that way. It keeps my mind focused on what's going where. So with that in mind, um, some of these things never arrive at Lusk, but I set up the trade route to come from Lusk. So for instance, maybe brass or bear fur or something like that never goes to Lusk, but the idea is that everything should go there first before it comes here. And that way we can just add up multiple islands later on and stuff like that to, to deliver things to if it's the same good. So the first thing I'm noticing here, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm getting quite emotional. I uh, know the first thing I'm noticing is that we're out of brass and let's see. Yep, yeah, brass for that one as well. And celluloid. Hmm. Okay. Celluloid, brass, tobacco. Alright, so we want to try and, try and start delivering some of these things. Also, our population has just climbed up a bit. I'm just going to raise this again. Um, hmm. Alright, well, let's uh, trace these down. So, celluloid. Does it ever arrive from the new world to the old world? Skyscraper supplements. See, this is, again, just get rid of this, you know? This is nothing to me. <laughs> In fact, don't do that. Just delete the route. Yep. Okay, so that means that from the new world to the old world, there is no route delivering celluloid. And celluloid is in a pretty high demand, I think. If we have a look here, celluloid, and we go all islands. Just all goods. 48 tons per minute is what's produced. It's largely being produced on Manola. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Some of it on Porta Benus, but that's obviously all turned off. So I might just delete those to get them out of my face. Yeah, so it's amazing. Even with just these six, that's how much we're getting. 48 tons per minute. And then the consumption is at 31. Okay, well, with 48 per minute, it seems like one ship probably would be enough to take that to the to here. And then it'll get redistributed. So we'll just set up with just one ship to do that. So trade route. Because obviously it could be going to other things. Obviously celluloid is going into multiple factories. I'd be curious to know... In the old world, I guess, how much celluloid is in use? All right, so I've just been doing a little bit of calculations behind the scenes. I just wanted to work out, you know, how long does it take for a ship to go from the New World to Lusk? And basically, a world-class reefer ship with nothing on it, no items, takes eight minutes. It actually takes slightly less than that, but rounding it up, eight minutes. Not bad, you know, from to go from Manola to here. Obviously, Manola is on the edge as well, and this island's on the edge. So your intercession time, traveling between sessions, is about eight minutes to deliver, and when you're full as well. So when the ship is full of goods, um, I worked that out just by looking in statistics, checking out one of the routes that does have a full ship moving on it, and just it tells you how long it takes or how long it's minutes between times of arrival, and it was just one ship on the route. So very easy to work that out. I looked at it with a cargo ship, and at the time was slightly more, not much, actually. It was about 12 minutes, so not that much more, but still pretty good. And then I looked at something like celluloid. That's what kind of kicked this whole thing off. We want to deliver celluloid. So I quickly looked at how much celluloid do we make in the new world, which is where it's made, how much do we consume in the new world, and therefore how much is needed everywhere else. Turns out it's 12 per minute. So if you go 12 per minute times the 8 or so, uh, let's just work that out on the calculator. So 12 times 8, the 8 minutes that it takes to travel. You're looking at about 96. That means you're consuming 96 celluloid in the world in between trades. You know, so you, you arrive with your 100, and 96 of it's going to get eaten up, and then another 100 will arrive, So basically, you know? So that's kind of interesting just to know that. So in that in that way, you could pack a ship with three different goods on it, you know, or whatever, using the first two slots, using the next two slots, and using the next two slots, and you'll be delivering 
lots of things. So having unlocked this potential, it's quite an interesting thing to do. However, all that being said, I'm just going to keep it fairly simple uh, and just put it all on one ship for now. Because, of course, you're also dealing with the fact that then you have to factor in the time it takes to deliver the celluloid to the different places it's going and all of that. So, I don't know. It's interesting. You could definitely get away with just loading half the ship, but I'm going to go full ship because I might need celluloid in future for other things. I'm not too sure. And that would be a hard thing to keep, a tra keep track of. But it's very interesting looking forward how you could then look back and say... Like, if given enough time and I've completed other chains in the game, I could then look back and decrease the ships and optimize them and free up some influence and things like that if you really needed to. I think on the next time I do a playthrough or something, I'll be doing that much quicker and much earlier on. I'll, I'll deliver a few things and then I'll work that out and then we could free up more influence to go further again. So, anyway, I don't know if I've explained that very well, but it's just all very interesting to me. Here I am 150 episodes in deciding now's the time I should learn how this all works. Right, so this is New World to Old World. We're just going to be delivering fat loads of celluloid and it should all get distributed just fine. So we'll call this export celluloid. All right, cool. So that's one thing done. The next one I think was brass because brass seems to be short in multiple places. Yep. And um, what else are we missing here? Yep, brass again. Tobacco leaves. Hmm, tobacco leaves. Something's missing. Summit's missing. Your grammar. Um, anyway. <laughs> Tobacco leaves. Let's see. How are we making them? Well, we're making a good amount. Marbella. We're making 41. So again, I could actually check this really quickly. What is consumed everywhere except... Well, actually, let me check another thing. This is where it gets really complicated because it's like, how many trade routes do we have doing tobacco? So new world to old world. We have an export ship with one thing on it. So I'm going to get rid of this. This this can go. New world to old world. See you later. We'll make a new ship for that. So an old world delivery. That's one of the new uh, routes that we made. New world tobacco delivery. And base delivery. We'll leave that as it is. Okay. So we'll set up a trade route. Going from the new world again. To the old world. To Lusk. And we'll pick up tobacco leaves. If I'm, oh, there we go. I was going to say, where the hell is it? Tobacco leaves. So well, it's interesting to know these other things, but I think I'll just stick with this for now. And maybe in between episodes, I'll do another optimization like I just did, because Manola's traffic is getting fairly busy. All right, new world to old world. We'll just call this tobacco, and it's going to be an export. All right, good. So that's that. It's another one done. Did I do that correctly? Yep. Alright, nice. So tobacco should make its way here because everything else is already hooked up. The next phase would be, yeah, brass. I want to see, brass is a pain, so I'll, ooh, potatoes. So I'll see if I can do anything else before doing that. And tobacco, brass, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So it looks like it's just going to be brass. Now some of these other things might run out in the future sure based on whether or not they're getting delivered to time. Lusk or not. Um, okay, let's just deliver potatoes to Lusk. If I could just find anywhere in the old world making enough potatoes, that'd be nice. And a ship will just go pick that up. Malahide's making potatoes. And do we have them on a route anywhere? No, apparently not. Now, don't you need potatoes for, like, schnapps and stuff? Do you guys... Oh, it's probably made over... Oh, you don't actually have schnapps. There you go. Hmm. Damn potato famine going on out here. Did I ever make potatoes up this way? These are potato farms, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, with that in mind, should we just be pulling them from here? One route that takes potatoes from Cape Trelawney and delivering them to Lusk would probably do the job. They make more than they need even just here. So yeah, I guess so. Seems a bit strange just to put one ship on that, but let's do it. So from Crown Farms to Lusk. Potats. And you can go do it. And that's going to be Cape to the Old World. All right. Cool. 
That should sort that out. All right, so Brass is gonna be the last one. And then I think I've done all the restaurants and stuff. I think so. Until one of them maybe runs out in the future and then we can check what I've left behind. We're producing enough of everything. It might just be a case that some of the trade routes aren't f properly hooked up. Because with this optimization that I did at the beginning, ships are now c have to come from here. Previously, some of them were just going direct to here. Maybe that was fine, but the, the rates were so low of what they needed, it didn't seem to make sense having ships dedicated to doing that. It seems to make more sense having ships dedicated to going to somewhere like here and then distributing it to other places should they need to. Yeah. All right, so yeah, something I'm kind of curious about, the old world, potatoes. So there is a, a demand for it and we are producing more than enough. So a ship bringing them all in to one island this doesn't, yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because there is enough in that session. We don't need to go intercession. So let's delete that. That's a mistake. I thought it was the other way around. But if we make enough in the session, I just need to find out where they're made and bring them to Lusk. We don't necessarily need to travel to another island to do it. We could bring the schnapps over from the other island, though. That's a certainty. Um, anyway. So the old world, selecting all our old world islands. We can see Malahide is making more than enough potatoes to suit itself. And then there's consumption on rush that isn't apparently being used right now. Must be, I don't know what that is. We could check what that is, I suppose. There's consumption of malahide. And that's it. So swords has one potato need. <laughs> malahide has 14, but that's making it, that's where it's made, so that's okay. And then rush has a need for one. <laughs> Why do we need one ton of potato on rush? What the hell makes needs potatoes? Unless there is schnapps production here, is there? No. I don't know what else uses it, but we'll bring it to them anyway. It must be a lifestyle. <laughs> hey, you should have all this turned on. Things are somewhat humdrum. Yeah, just bear with me while I try to track this down. There's got to be something that's demanding one ton of potatoes. But I'm not seeing it in terms of oh there's a restaurant here the cheese platter is ah there it is here. okay cool well I, f I found it good right i don't know how they've been getting those potatoes for so long but apparently they have maybe there was some delivery doing it so i'm going to create a route trade route it's going to come from malahide where we make those potatoes we're going to drop it a, a little bit off to russian and the rest to sword so bong 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 so pick up all the potatoes Oh, I just realized, actually, we should really send it down here. Am I okay with that? Yeah. Maybe the other way around, though. Drop it all at Lusk first. Lusk has the bigger storage, though. Hmm. I guess the other way around, then. All right. So we're gonna pick up the potatoes, drop them at Rush, that fills up pretty quickly, and then the rest will go here and that'll ultimately go to swords. <laughs> so messy. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. All right, so. It's just a long trickle down kind of thing, but it, it does work. All right, we'll call this uh, delivery potato. I guess potatoes. All right, good. All right, that's potatoes fixed. All right, so brass then is the one, the last one. So brass is a kind of an interesting thing. I think I'm going to end up bringing it in through Docklands because I think we just ultimately don't make enough and it needs to go up to the Arctic as well. So Crown Farms makes some. And what's the total for everywhere? So we currently have the potential to make eight and we need 19. Now some oh of these God, aren't God, producing God, because we're out of gosh. zinc. So I think maybe just get rid of these, pause them all, and maybe just bring in brass in totality through here. The question is, is it used here? I think for spectacles and stuff it is, isn't it? We have reached ah, but we've got an item that changes that. So I'm not sure what's consuming brass other than just like drug stores or whatever the furniture stores are requiring brass and then the arctic again i really wish i could see what is the total consumption for that so let me check it this way i'll check it in the new world see does anyone need brass over there 
Apparently not. So New World's safe. Cape Trelawney has no need for brass. And that's where big factories are. So we're totally good there. Lusk, it does have a demand for 13. So that's where we're going to set it up. And then also we've got a little bit of extra in swords, right? For the different stores. No one else seems to care. Even Crown Farms with its investors and their lifestyle, they don't need it. And then it's just the um, Arctic, I think, that does. Yeah. All right, well, we tracked it down. That wasn't too bad. So Lusk, we'll bring it in through Lusk Docklands and then we'll ship it off to the Arctic and to anywhere else it needs to go. Brass is a tough one to bring in though, it's a high cost. So, hmm, maybe what could we use? Not liking this. Steam carriages are getting kind of low. I just noticed as well, Champagne is in the tier 3. Oh, but it could have been in, it was in tier 2 at one point. Interesting. Alright, let's try the elevators then for a while. It just seems like we have too many of them. Um, so it's something like 20 per minute. 20 times 22 will be roughly what we need. You want to get it kind of accurate. So about 440. It's more than we need. Oh my god. Wow. These things are crazy. You really do get a lot out of them. Don't you even need brass to make elevators, I feel like? This is the no. You need wood veneers, steam motors, and steel. Cool. Alright, great. So that's brass. Brass will already get delivered to the old world. I don't know if we've got a route for brass to go to the Arctic. And we do, but it's just never picked up because there's, yeah, it's, there's nothing there. Well, that should sort everything out then. The trade routes are already hooked up. Great. All right. This is going swimmingly. Um, what else then? I mean, that should be all the drugstores and everything done then. We'll just speed up time because I want to see that happen. So let's check what these guys got. They got three 600 out of 4,005. They're just missing the writing desk. So two bits of furniture and two bits in the department stores. So the furniture stores are the green ones. So that's what you're lacking there. And the departments are the black ones. So it's brass and celluloid. Those are the two things we're missing, I think. Now for the restaurants. That's what the tourists it's were complaining about earlier. Beautiful. Their restaurants aren't working. So let's just check where these are. All right, so we've only got three recipes on the go. So this is one of them. They're lacking the potatoes, which we sorted out. And they're lacking tobacco, which we've also sorted out. So that's just a matter of time. Great. So what else then? You have your bar. You've got your cafe. Benty's dropping happiness on me. Happiness. Speaking of happiness, we need souvenirs and lemonade. And then lifestyle are going to need mezcal, ice cream, leather boots, bombin hats, and perfumes. Now, this keeps failing. And I don't know why. Perfume, we definitely make more than enough of. But I must have messed up the trade route. So, delivering perfume. This is the delivery route for perfume. Maybe it's just really slow or something. New world to old world, perfume. That ship has just arrived in Manola to go pick some up. Maybe it's just simply not enough speed? Because I think we've got loads. A glass of juice to moisten your throat. This is totally operational. This is operational. It's coming up to about 300 that's going to be carried away. So this is the guy that's doing it. 111. Loading speed, 75% cargo slowdown is reduced. Now, do we not have a minimum cutoff point for that, no? We do, 100. And just to check that, I mean, we do make more than we need. Three tons more per minute. Hmm. All right, let me just check another thing then. Old world, how much do you consume? 11 tons per minute? Yeah, it's very strange. I don't really... Because it's more than enough for one ship to be doing that. Hmm. Maybe I just need to give it time. Maybe time got interrupted. Because one ship delivering to here and then one ship carrying it around. The fact that this place is empty means it is being carried around, but just very slowly. So hopefully they get it. I mean, it seems like we make enough. It could just be a trade route issue that I'm not quite seeing. 
They look like they just got a batch right now, actually. In one of your factories. Celluloid in Manola. Oh my god. A fire broke out. These guys probably need to be upgraded, to be honest. It lowers the chance of those explosions happening. Ooh, fortunate. Alright, um, so, let's just continue on. We'll have to leave the explosions for a while. And just hope that they kind of go away. Uh, right, so if we're to actually go through the needs properly, the next need we need to fix on, uh, fixate on is shampoo. But I was also going to do the high life stuff. Yeah, so I want to get that done. I think the only thing we're missing is something like biscuits and cognac. I think I don't produce enough cognac at the moment. So let's look into biscuits. Well, I suppose what we should do is go through everything. So all of this is all good. I want to check on steam carriages just to make sure that's okay. Oh, shit. It is right on the edge. With a slight gray line on the production side here for some reason. Why would that be? Something that's stalled for some reason. The formula is incomplete. This one. No, not enough brass. Well, that will be fixed soon as well. Okay, so that's okay. So it will actually be ever so slightly ahead when we get that done. The interesting th thing there is we shouldn't even have this in here at all then if that's the case because we're right on the edge so get rid of that slot. Maybe we can bump something else up if I ever need to get rid of something else. Alright. Because obviously before we used to make a lot more now we seem to be making it was obviously hard to see if you're just watching but once the production is met it should be slightly over the consumption so it should be okay but it is right on the edge. So it might need more in future, I don't know. Depending on how these things grow. So, here's the next thing. Cherry wood is going to be need for stuff like violins. So let's just keep working our way up before I get distracted. Just keep working our way up. So next thing is the department stores. That's all done. Chewing gum. So chewing gum's production is pot potentially at 8 per minute at Marbella. And its consumption is only 3. It's completely stalled because we've got too much of it. That's fine. That's eight per minute. We could turn one of these off then, Go in that case. Because it seems like, yeah, we'd still be making more than we need. So wow, only one chemical plant needed. And this isn't even getting affected by anything here. And it needs sugar, cow chuck, and cinnamon. I'm just wondering, is there any benefit of putting it in one of these oh my god this place is destroyed any benefit of putting it in one of these slots instead I mean not really because I actually don't necessarily want the productivity boost one is enough so maybe just leaving it down here is fine no one else needs chewing gum right I see a lot of potential here. No, these guys don't need it it's just the old world I think that use it I think it's just the high life that use it if that's the case then one is more than enough and if that's extra the case then we could even just set up a direct shift to go from here to swords directly I guess it seems strange doing that but I suppose why not if it's only one place doing it fish oil import from Marbella to Porto Benus well this is get rid of that all right so there's no chewing gum route yeah I'm just gonna set up a direct a direct vein <laughs> straight from the new world to the old world. Rare to do that, but I just don't see a need not I don't see a reason not to. And the chewing gum consumption rate just to, I'm sorry to keep doing this, but just to triple check, it's only consumed I think in that one place. So swords Yeah, it's 3 tons per minute, it's only consumed here. So yeah, we could just go straight there. And 3 per minute I mean, you don't even need a full ship. I'll just get a small ship to do it then. And yeah, just go from swords directly, New World, Marbella. All right, so Marbella, you pick up your chewing gum. So that's 100. I think that's more than enough. We can see if this ship can make a stop somewhere else to get something else. Because it's not going to take 30 minutes to get there, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, I think so. How thrilling, a renouncer. All right, so, um... Hmm. Well, yeah, it's export. It's almost like a special export. 
New world to old world. Alright, so yeah, it's just gonna take the chewing gum straight out. Why not? Good. Um, okay, so that's all done and dusted. Next up, biscuits. Alright, so biscuits are made down in Lusk. I remember when that first came out, I thought biscuits was like some weird machinery part. Because it looked, uh... I don't know, it looked like a cog in a wheel or something to me. But it also does look like biscuits. I just thought there's no way that's what this factory makes, but I guess so. So it needs citrus, flour, and tallow. Uh, of which we make more than enough of all of these things. If I just globally check tallow. Nope, we don't make enough of that. Interesting. And that's needed in chemical plants as well. Crown Farms makes a lot from pigs. And there's a trade union here to get more out of it. Alright, slam more in then. How many workers work on these? 36. That's 77 over 65 now. It's obviously more than we need, but I just wanted to see. Yeah, so we could cut maybe a couple of those off. Alright, 70 over 65. Now, some of this is dependent on Malahide as well. Everything else looks like it's Crown Farms and Lusk, which is where it's going. Okay. Oh, well, the other thing we need to check then is pigs. Yeah, there's your problem. So, um... Damn, need more pig farms. There's so many pig farms here as well. Nice day for it. Also, for some reason, this is using seven modules? What? Guess so. It doesn't need two of these. Uh-huh. Yeah, with so many pig farms, it makes me question if, um... I should just get pulled. Sorry, my phone is going like crazy. Um, it makes me just wonder if I should pull it all in through Docklands because pigs are it's getting high volume now. <laughs> 98 needed globally, tons per minute. And they're obviously low tier. They don't take much, you know, they don't take much to, I mean, actually 30 farmers is kind of a lot. So that one reduced it all down. Hmm. Save on influence, save on a lot if we can pull them in through Docklands. I might think, I think I'll try that. I mean, you could also pull in the tallow, but pigs would be cheaper. Let me just see tallow cost as well. Tallow's the same. All right, let's get two of those and just see what the differences are here. So, wow, one to 50, and this is one to 28. All right, tallow production then would be Consumption is 65 tons per minute. Let me just use the calculator for this one as well. 65 tons per minute times roughly the time it takes the guy to arrive from Docklands is 23 minutes. You need 1,495. Let's round it up to 1,500. And he's about to be here, so let's try to do that quick. 1,500. And that would solve the tallow issue and allow us to get rid of a lot of these. So it's 55 gramophones per minute. Oh, no, no, per every 20 minutes. Every 23 minutes. So let me work that out per minute. So that's 55 divided by 23. So it's an extra, it's 2.39 gramophones per minute is what I'm consuming. <laughs> uh, and we could always use something else. I think champagne I seem to make a pretty decent amount of. But I'll leave that there. He's here in 20 seconds. Yeah, let's just leave it in that slot. I was going to try and drag it up to a different one, but whatever. For some reason I can't. I could just do that. And then... Alright, let's do that again. Just to have it in the top slot, I think it's a bit better. He, he's not going to arrive just yet, anyway. Okay, but it still means that we can now shut down all tallow production. So all rendering works can go offline. So that's saving me 700 workers. And it's going to save me a tremendous amount of pigs. 
Yeah, like a lot. So we're overproducing pigs by a huge amount. But we'll let the pigs do their thing for a while. And then maybe I can reduce this. Because I did think it looked... I don't like how it looks. <laughs> it's a bit too much. And it consumes grain as well and lots of other things. So that's a good little optimization there. It seems to be cheap enough. And I think it's quite doable. But let's set up the trader to actually deliver that tallow back. So that's the crown farms to the old world into Lusk. Tallow, please. Tallow's in high volume, so I'm happy to have just one ship do it. I'm going to say there. I'm going to say wait for goods, though. Don't move until you've got that full ship, because you're going to be waiting for the docklands each time. And it's lots of space, lots of pier space there, so I think it's okay. So Cape to, uh, Cape to Old World. Exporting Tallow. All right. Good. Is this the guy doing it? So he's going to wait, which is the good, because it's going to wait for the captain Tobias, who's coming in somewhere now. There he is. So as soon as he drops off his 1500, this ship should fill up pretty much immediately. So many world-class reefers here. There we go. Just like that. Boom. Pull. And now there's still 1,200 for all the soap and everything to be used. Good. Means that we can also free up some of this stuff, really. But anyway, problem for another day. Haven't got to these guys' tiers yet. So that's going to be Tallow arriving back here. That's the first ingredient nailed. The next ingredient... And by the way, we should probably just check. There's only one biscuit factory. Is one enough? Ah. Fuck, <laughs> it's not. Right, so we actually needed two. Dang. Alright. So that means uh, we just need even more tallow and other things. Now, there is a thing here. Oh, actually, I just realized something. Two of these are making elevators. Don't need that anymore. Only need one, really. Elevators are primarily just used for construction or for selling in Docklands. And seeing as we're full, it's not a problem, right? It's like making lots of bricks. It's like, it's fine. <laughs> um... Right, so yeah, let's open this up. We'll switch one of these to biscuits. Now the tallow production is just increased globally. So we'll just have a look at what that is. Tallow up to 74. So when I looked at it, it was 65. So let me just open that calculator up again. So it was 74 times 23. So that's 1700 that we'll need. So I'll just fix that in documents really quickly. It's going to be an increased amount next time. All right. Hopefully we've got enough gramophones. If we don't, I'll try. I'll fix something. <laughs> I'll figure something out. All right. So either way, good news though. Two of them in process. Then we just need Antalo is here, so that can get going. Flour is the next thing. Then flour globally. Flour actually weirdly comes from Cape Trelawney as well, and we just don't quite make enough. We're making it in vast quantities up here. So what I can do is, for instance. This farm can go off. Maybe this one and this one. Alright, so there's a few pig farms turned off now. That's going to save on some grain. That extra grain can go into the flour mills. Again, though, maybe flour should just come in through Docklands. It's like this base tier ingredient. I'm exporting flour with one ship. Maybe it's just... Yeah, it might be fine. So we're only five tons per minute short. So maybe just two more or something. And we'll move these buildings in the future. They don't get electricity down here, do they? No, but they can be powered by electricity. Yeah, maybe somewhere down there it makes more sense. Alright, they are powered on. Okay, and I'm just going to get rid of all of these. And then we'll just see where we're at. We need something first. Keep getting lost. Alright, there we are. All 
All right, let's check the rate now. 58, that's 58 over 55 globally. Oh no, it's 64 over 55. Yeah, we can get rid of maybe one or two. Sixty over fifty-five. Done. All right, there you go. There's flour, and it's only taking ten workers or ten um, farmers per building, and electrifying it will be a big help. And we should have enough grain. If not, grain can always supplemental grain can be pulled in. But we've got lots of land. Yeah. So globally, we're a little short on grain. I've known about that for a while. That should be okay though, because obviously there's so much space here. My plan was to yeah. So we built more out there. My plan was to actually move all of this down eventually and just make this entire plateau grain. So that'd be nice to do in a big time lapse sometime. Um, and then have the other kind of farms, like the potato farms and stuff, like kind of queued up here. Just that way everything stays together. All right, but we can I can leave that for now. I'll, I'll know that's not really a problem. All right, so that's flour. Flour is already coming here, so that's totally fine. And one ship should be enough to do it. Citrus will be the next thing. So citrus is made in the New World. New World to Old World citrus. Puerto Venus to Lusk. Well, that's outdated. So in the New World, we don't really go from Puerto Venus anymore. We go from Manola. And I dare say, get these ships off. We'll put a reefer on. You, you, we'll load you, citrus. Is our future. Us Delete that. Swept into an iron tide. The rattle of the workers. Freedom and equality for all. What the hell is this? Is there a strike on? Export citrus. New world to old world. Done. One ship should be enough. Now, something I don't think I'm doing is collecting it globally, so... We make it in multiple islands, so we need to kind of collect it and deposit it into Manola. All right, so if I could just tell it to even pick up citrus. What am I doing? Sorry, you have to put on, there we go. Yeah, I think it's only actually, I guess just accept on that for a second. Let's find out where we make it just to be sure. Oh, we actually make slightly less now that we've added that factory. So, Manola, Marbella, Manola, Marbella, and Rush, weirdly enough. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's a byproduct from one of these things in the trade union. Hmm. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay. In that case, then, in the new world, what we'll need to do is just continue this route. So, it's picking up... Stuff there, go to straight to there. I don't think it said anything else, right? There was no other islands doing it. It's zero everywhere. It's a little there's a little bit on the one of the bottom islands. That's an old problem. So I think it is just really the one island. So let's just leave it at that. I don't know why this says it's paused. I think I just have to set it up. So let's go delivery citrus. Okay, now in the new world, because we're a little short, maybe I should add it somewhere else. No more space this is all camphor. Camphor needs to be collected as well. Don't know if they need their own ship to do it, but I don't mind. Oh my god, so many trade routes this episode. Last episode is like none. Alright, good. So my only thing then would be camphor. Seems to be produced largely in two islands. It's got to double check that island down here. And see, do we have an orchard for camphor here? Uh, no, we've got all coconut oil. So there's just some camphor left over here. Sky's the limit. Alright, good to know. Yeah, it might be time to set up one of those, a couple extra citrus orchards or something out this way and just go pick them up. Or even at one of these smaller islands we'd set up not that long ago. Like here. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. So let's just make um, two citrus orchards. Maybe even another one there. And we can add that onto the root then.
Alrighty. That should be that. Now, just to check that, so New World to Old World, so we are exporting it out, we're collecting it in the New World, we're exporting it out, and then the Old World, we're delivering it. Now, we're not collecting it from the Island of Rush, so that's one other little thing I have to do. It's a strange one, but I suppose... I wonder... This is as a special route. I'm... Yeah, I think the timing on this is actually fine. My tell is just to collect some citrus from here after it does its first deposit. That way we're just picking some up. That makes sense. I feel like that's messy. So let's leave that. <laughs> I think I'll sacrifice a ship just to take some stuff out of here. I think there's jam here and other things, so maybe it doesn't need to do everything at once, but for now it will. So one ship is just going to be delivering all that citrus out of here, even if it is a very small amount. I tell you what, I tell you what should do it. It's the resin route. Bring the citrus with you. Because it's a byproduct of resin. And we don't fill it up anyway by the time the ship gets here. So that's totally fine. That's, that's alright. Alright, cool. That does it. That way the one ship that's going there anyway, picking up stuff from the orchard, it still is. It keeps it all contained. Alright. So let's see if we can chill for a minute and get our heads out of that flipping trade screen. Let's see where we're at. So what are we missing now? There's no one that isn't looking up to me now. <laughs> Love to see that. 4,005 out of 4,005. Everything has been delivered. So our brass has gotten delivered, the potatoes, all that stuff. All good. You've got your cafe. It's funny, like we're just buried in a statistics screen and trade route screen the whole time but then you hop out and you look at it and say yep it did work <laughs> it, it has been delivered things have, are working all right nice all right so we'll just keep working our way through we're working on the biscuits that's the next thing the very last bit of this was doing that citrus so citrus should arrive here now so that will fix bis biscuits so biscuits should be done it already has its delivery routes so, oh no actually i think i got rid of it the high life goods need to be done later. Yeah, biscuits don't have their... So those high tier goods, like the toys, the violins, those types of things, they need their own route. I haven't done that yet. I'll do that in the next episode. Well, I'll do it in between probably, just like I did. Um, yes, this is tier 5. So cognac, then the furniture store is totally fine. Typewriters, yeah. So I'll, have to, I'll just look at all these between episodes to save you from having to watch me stare at production screens for too much longer, but I, I I would dare say that should be it done, because I don't think I've gone over the limit of cognac or any of these higher tier goods. We made so much more violins and toys, it never seemed like it would be an issue, because I don't... In fact, when I built this city, I actually downgraded some of the higher tier ones to make it look kind of like it rises up nicer, so it shouldn't be a problem. I was kind of surprised that we needed more biscuits. And then we can truly say that they're all done, and we're into tackling the tourism now. So shampoo will be the next thing. And then going back to the new world to focus on some of those goods like uh, mezcal and stuff like that. So shampoo, lemonade, and souvenirs. These are all chemical plant items. So the chemical plants, excuse me, down here that are making lacquer, they should be good to go now for a while. This one is making souvenirs. Bit of an oddball, no pun intended, because we mostly make souvenirs out in Cape Trelawney. So I'll probably change this and get rid of this one completely. Just focus all that production out there and increase this one to do shampoo instead. So this is making shampoo. Why is it not moving? I don't know. Carefully, I say. It just isn't. It just wasn't. Oh, there's another one over there. That could be why. Yeah, just really quickly before we wrap up. What is shampoo at? So with that on, it's now 11 under 14. Hmm. So we need another one. So I'd, like I said, I'd probably get rid of this. We'll change this to shampoo. And that's going to require more soap, coconut oil, and cinnamon. So more orchards again. So I'll, I'll work out all that spacing in the next episode. And then if we need more lemonade, we'll get rid of this one. Yeah, chance of fire. Hmm, that's a bit lame. <laughs> Put something else in there, maybe. Get some something else out of these guys. All right, guys, that's going to have to be it for this episode. A heavy trade route focused one, but it needs to be done. We are seeing the fruits of our labor, though. These guys are now full. There's a parade outside. 
They're shit. Look at all the goods that they're just. Look at. They're like. Look at everything we've got. Hmm. I can hear the. Uh, I could hear like the skyscraper music, but then it just went away. Yeah, nice. All right, good. That's good progress. I'm seeing less and less flashing red icons saying like things were missing. You know, there's only there's barely any actually. I think we're pretty much good. <laughs> we're so close to getting there. And then it's shampoo, and then all the cool stuff from the New World: ice cream, mezcal, bombins, leather boots from Mbesa, and that's going to also kind of hit these guys too, a little bit. Oh, apparently not, actually. I thought it would. Oh, they got their film reel. Nice to see. Sweet. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.